It's another day where Israeli bombardment fills the skies of Gaza. Israeli combat happening in the Shijaya suburb for a fifth day. The assault, a constant and deadly reminder that the nearly nine-month war continues. The latest strike killing nine people in the southern city of Khan Yunis. <laughs> Palestinians navigating their way through streets surrounded by damaged infrastructure and dirty water. <laughs> this resident saying, as you can see, this water is sewage. The greatest suffering is what our children suffer from at home and the smell from the sewage. The latest strike comes as Israel ordered the evacuation of parts of the densely populated area prior to tanks re-entering the city that the military had left several weeks ago, a sign that Israeli troops could be preparing for another ground assault. <laughs> Hundreds of Palestinian patients, meantime, also forced to flee the European hospital and tent camps. Patients sitting outside, some forced to remain on gurneys. This patient saying, we came and both my legs are broken and my pelvis. I am staying in the street, waiting for them to find me a place inside. A World Health Organization spokesperson saying the critical hospital will soon be virtually empty. Patients cannot access, ambulance can access. We, the WHO, cannot come with medical supplies, fuel, water, etc. So very quickly... That hospitals, what we've seen over time, they become from partly functional, non-functional. The wounded now being moved over to the neighboring Nasser Hospital. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees says some 250,000 people are in the evacuation zone. That's about 10 percent of Gaza's entire population. The number of displaced people in the besieged city now reaching 1.9 million. Another area now closed off as a place of refuge. Palestinians and aid groups saying nowhere in the territory feel safe. Afia Ba, City News.